All right, guys, some of you are asking about Google Forms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this document, uh, which is the, I'm not sure, I think it's social studies quiz. Uh, it's multiple choice. I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a Google Form. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not too crazy, especially if you have the document, you can copy and paste things directly from the document into your form, which will make it a little faster. Um, I'll also show you some of the other features uh, in here, or sorry, in Google Forms besides just multiple choice. Um, it's good here because we have pictures, so I can show you how to upload pictures into your Google Forms as well. So let's get started with doing that. Uh, so obviously we have to come over to our drive. Uh, I'm just going to do this in my drive, but if you um, have something specific for social studies or science, you would put it in there. Like for me, I have a distance learning folder that I've that I have some stuff in. So I'll just throw it in here. Um, so I have my math stuff normally goes in my math classroom here for distance learning. And I'm just going to add this document down here. So um, I have where I want it in my drive open. I'm going to hit new, more, Google Form. So the Google Form will open, should be purple. Um, one thing we want to make sure we do right away, and I usually do this uh, before I start putting in any questions, because once I start making my form, I kind of get involved in it and I forget about this. Um, but we're, we want to make sure that it's collecting email addresses and response receipts. Okay. Um, you want the email addresses. That way you don't have to worry about a question saying, put your name here. And then when we look at our, um, our responses, we can sort them by email and we know our school emails have the kids' names in them. Uh, if we wanted to, if this was a quiz or a test, we could limit it to one response per student. Uh, we're going to do that. We don't want them taking this multiple times. Um, you can look at your presentation options here. So you could have them show the progress bar. You could shuffle the order of the questions. So if you were to do this in your classroom and kids are sitting next to each other, um, you know, uh, my number one would be your number three, just so that if someone's trying to copy, they're not getting the same question. So you have that option as well. Um, and then if you want to make this a quiz, which we'll do, cause this is a quiz, uh, you can turn lock mode on, uh, but right now we're at home so they can have a phone or another computer or something. But what this does, if I turn lock mode on, they can't open anything else in their computer until they submit the form. Uh, the other thing is this is going to release their grade immediately, uh, afterward here being a quiz. Uh, I just want to make sure, I think we could change that setting, uh, I'm pretty sure we could change that setting because I've had to uh, release grades before. So we're going to make this a quiz. That's what that did. And because it's multiple choice, it will grade it for us and it will send it back to them. Or this quiz is multiple choice, I should say. Um, so we're going to save those settings. Again, the most important one I'll show you again is this response receipt, uh, collect email response receipt. Okay, that way, again, you don't have to worry about putting a question for their name. Um, and then if it is a quiz, you do want to make this a quiz. Um, and I'll show you what options we want on our Google Classroom. So here's the form, and it looks like we are, sorry, scoot this over. We're creating a Unit 7 Lesson 1 quiz. So that's what I'm going to title the form. Unit 7, the Lesson 1 quiz. And I believe, again, this is Social Studies, right? Renewable Resources, Social Studies. Uh, I'm just going to leave out what it is. I'm not sure. It could be social studies or science. It's about renewable resources. So I put that in and then let's take a look at the options here for questions before I go in and put this actual quiz in. So over here on the right hand side shows us our options here. So right now it's at, at multiple choice, uh, which is what we're going to do because this quiz is multiple choice, but I'll show you the other options too. So for a multiple choice option, I could put my question in here. Okay. And then I can choose the number of options. They always give you one option. Right. So I could type in my option here and then let's say, you know, I wanted a B or a C. I can go ahead and hit these add options here to add them in. OK, um, and now I have four options for this multiple choice question. If I just click off of it. Now, these are the four options. Here's my here's my question up here. OK, if I needed a picture with it, which you may or may not need, uh, you're just going to click on this upload image. Um, and then you can find the picture you need, whether it's in your drive, um, or if you want to take a picture with your camera, you can do that as well. You have to allow the camera so that you can do it. Um, okay. So you could take those pictures again, you could upload it right from your computer as well. Um, or if you wanted to do a Google image search, so let's say you wanted to find a, you know, a map of the United States, 
you could find that map and this would upload that map directly into your question. So again, I'll show you how to do that because there are some images with this quiz. So that's the multiple choice option. And if I wanted to remove an option, I could just click over here. Like I didn't put the right one in. Um, and then the other thing with multiple choice and with all of them really is this answer key part here. Um, so the first thing is it's how many points it is. So if you want each, you know, you could divide and say each question is 10 points because there's 10 questions. You could do that. You could make them all one, one point. Um, and then it'll give you a fraction, right? Like, you know, you've got five out of 10, correct. Or however many questions, I'm not sure this quiz in general, but you can change the points by using the arrows or when it's, you could erase and, and type in how many points, let's just say, I'm going to leave them all at one point for now. Uh, and once I do that, um, I'm then going to go ahead and say, this is the correct answer. So I selected the correct answer. And when I'm happy with that, I'm hitting done. So now I can see there's a check next to this one because I selected that as the correct answer. And I'll show you one more time where that is. Um, let's get rid of this. So that is an answer key at the bottom part of the question. And then I get to choose right now. I only have two options. So this is the one I think is, or I know is the right answer. So when it goes to grade, it will say, this is the correct answer. Any other answer is wrong. Um, and then hit done. It'll show you again, which one has the check mark next to it. Also, if you need to add an image with your uh, multiple choice, you can add an image in this. It comes up the same way that we added an image before. Okay. So you have those same options that we did before. Okay. Um, so that's multiple choice. Let me get rid of these. Let's look at a uh, short answer, which is really simple. You're just going to click on this, um, this arrow here, and it's going to give you uh, other options. So if we wanted a short answer, that means here's our question. And then the kids uh, would just click here to answer their question. They, they would click here and answer. When you do the answer key though, for these, you can't select an answer because you have to physically go in and grade it. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'll open up one of the StoryWorks ones uh, just to show you what the answers look like and, and how you can grade those answers. Okay. Um, so the only thing you can really do with short answers, manipulate the points amount, and then um, you'll have to go ahead and grade those yourself. So I'm just going to click done because again, I cannot select an answer. Another option that we have here is paragraph. So if this is, you know, you want them to write a paragraph or two, this is just kind of giving them a, a, a little bit more space to go ahead and do uh, their answering. So short answer and paragraph are really similar. You just get some extra space when you do um, the paragraph. So now again, my options really are just how many points this is worth. Okay. So again, I could choose uh, to hit the arrows up or down, or I could type in how many points this question is worth. Uh, the other features I don't use as much, um, check boxes, meaning like, well, maybe there's, you know, the question is saying, check all of the boxes uh, that are true, right? You may have five or six phrases in here. So I could add options in different phrases. Right. And now when I go to my answer key, I'm saying that this one, this one need to be checked off to get full credit. Um, again, that's, I'll uncheck these. That's in our answer key for this checkbox, right? Answer key here. And then, you know, we need to check multiple and they, they can check multiple boxes within this. Okay. I'm, I'm, t I'm determining which boxes and how many boxes need to be checked for the uh, correct answer. Uh, and again, when we're done with our answer key, we hit done. Okay. So that's check boxes. Um, you could upload files into here. Um, these check boxes for grids, I, I don't use them really. Um, Casey uses them a, a, sometimes. Um, multiple choice grids, uh, same thing. We're kind of like looking at rows and columns here and you can put in um, you know, what you want as each row, what you want your columns as, and then your answer key is like, okay, well, row one, you should have filled in, uh, you know, column one and three is the right answer for this first row. If you have more than one row, which we did not, you would have options for them too. And again, you can change the titles of these, right? Like row one could be, uh, I don't know what you would put in here. And then you're, you're selecting a new row. And again, for your answer key, you're saying you should be selecting these columns, this column, this column, and this column, and maybe for row two, it's these columns. And again, you can change what these are. Um, I don't use this. This might be like a survey or something you could use it for as well. Um, so there's our multiple choice grid. 
uh, similar to our check boxes. And, and those are really the ones that you probably will use the most. I don't use drop downs. I don't use a linear scale. Um, so those are really the ones you want to use the most. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get some of these um, uh, questions from chapter seven quiz onto this um, doc. So I have the chapter seven quiz right here. Um, and maybe I'm going to, I'm not, maybe I'm going to, I'm going to copy this in here and I just hit control C. I don't hit, I don't two finger click. That's copy control C. Um, and then for description, I'm just going to paste it. Control V is paste. Okay. Just as a subtitle in there, cause it's giving us a subtitle for this quiz. Um, now there's two ways to do this. I know Christina does this. Um, she posts the questions with the ABCD in there. And then all she does is uh, in her questions, you know, this is A, the next option is, or we can add all A, B, C, D. Okay. And then the kids can choose from there. Or if you wanted to, you could go ahead and copy just the question, which I'm going to do right now is just copy this question in here. Okay. And paste again, I'm hitting control C and then control P control C is copy control V is paste. Okay, I, I put the questions in and then I could copy and paste all of these answers, right? I could say, all right, well, A is this and then B. And it doesn't really matter if you use the same order that this quiz has, because you, again, you can determine what the answer is, right? So even if you kind of mix these in a little bit to be a little bit different. Like if I put this D and C, it won't matter because I'm choosing what the answer is anyway. Um, so you could do it this way. This is the way that you might do it. And then the kids would, um, when they see this, they would just click on one of the answers. So let's see, let's see if I can answer this question. So if we go in our answer key, we're going to choose lumber as our renewable resource. I have my point set and it's done. So now, again, this is one way to do it. I put each answer in here by copy and pasting. Uh, I showed you the way Christina does it, which I'll show you how to cut, do that really quick. Again, it, it takes about two seconds. But what you can do is you can actually view what your, your, your form looks like from the kid's perspective if you click on this preview button. So if I click preview, it's going to open up. This is what the kids will see. So notice that it's, it's saving my email address up here because I asked it to. Um, and then... Uh, here's the question, and then I can select my answer and then submit. Okay, so that's if I just had the first question. And this is a different document. Notice here is my original document. It opened this up for the preview. So I'm going to just close the preview. Um, and I'll show you how Christina does hers. I kind of did already, but um, I'll do that right now. So Christina does or will do. Um, she could copy this whole thing. Right, we can copy this whole question, or we could get real fancy and screenshot it. Uh, I can copy this whole question. I, I didn't come out well, so um, I'm going to screenshot it. Um, so I have a screenshot tool. So I'm going to use my screenshot tool here. I am going to select an area, and I'm going to go ahead and just screenshot this whole thing. Okay, and if you want to, I'll do a tutorial video on this as well, um, but it's pretty simple. And then I'm going to hit copy to clipboard, and then I can just go ahead and paste this whole question. Oh, I guess I have to insert it as an image, sorry. Um, I have to insert image from my Google Drive. And when I find that image, it should be recent image. Right here. Now that image was uploaded or will be uploaded. It's going to take a second. So there's question, right? I could say question one. Here it is. And then what Christina does is, okay, this is A, add other option. Notice it's giving me the suggestion up here. So I could just click here if I didn't want to. You may not have that option yet. Um, you may have to click through and type in ABCD first, and then it will pop up for you. So there's the first question. That's actually much easier to do. Uh, and then for my answer key, 
I can go ahead and choose A as my answer, and this question is done. So I'll show you that again with the next question. So um, to insert another question, notice this is only a one question quiz. Right here on the side, we have a add question button. So now my next question comes up. I'm just gonna make this question two. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to screenshot this, okay? Um, so I'm gonna screenshot this here. I'm capturing the selected area. And I'm selecting uh, the question I want. I click the save button here. And then I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna show it in my folder and rename it. That way I know it's uh, question number two. So it's down here, it's highlighted for me. I'm using two fingers if you have a Chromebook to get this to come up. Rename, and let's do a unit seven, lesson one, quiz. And I'm just gonna put the number two so that I know it's uh, the question, geez, I can't type. The question is for question number two. Uh, I'll, I'll do a video right after this showing you how to use screenshot. Um, so there it is, I, I titled it, it's in my Google Drive now. Um, and now I'm coming back to my document. I am clicking this image button here and I'm going my Google Drive. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead, and I hate this view, I like that one. Click on recent and it should be towards the top. There it is, my question is in. Again, I'm gonna choose these options because this is multiple choice, I can make this A, and then look, it shows me suggesting these. I can click add all, it will fill it in for me, okay? So I'm gonna make a video showing how to use this Nimbus screenshot. I'll show you how to get it. Uh, it's free and I'll show you how to use it. It's pretty uh, easy tool to use. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can let me know. All right, hopefully this helps.